Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video we're talking about the day 16 and a half episode of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and topics brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'm going to share with you guys a sneak peek of what's happening next time on the series. But before any of that, if you haven't seen the day 16 and a half episode, here's a link somewhere, you can click on it and find out what we're talking about before we talk about it. Wait a moment. Okay, we'll jump right in. But first, I want to thank a number of people who have, you know, made this episode possible, made the whole series possible, and, you know, and have made possible the general quality improvements for the whole channel. Uh, if you're not familiar, the only reason I'm able to do any of this stuff, especially the Alien Invasion series, is from the generous support of people just like yourself, who for as little as a dollar a month have gone to Patreon.com or, or to PayPal and are just keeping this whole thing going. In addition, they're also giving themselves access to behind-the-scenes content, exclusive ways of interacting with the series, uh, steering the plot, and you know just becoming involved. Also giving themselves guaranteed access to two episodes per month. Uh, uh, regular YouTube uh, you know, is guaranteed one a episode per month, but depending on where funding levels are, you know, that's, you know, we may not do two episodes per, per month on YouTube, but you are guaranteed to get both episodes per month on Patreon, uh, you know, no, whether, whether funding levels are at 100% or not. So they're doing all those things. In addition, I'm, I've been working on, and we're not there yet, but I, I've been working on maybe doing some product giveaways, you know, uh, prepping gear giveaways. I've been talking with some companies about maybe doing that, you know, on the, pra on the pra uh, Praxis uh, Patreon uh, side of things to, uh, you know, as a thank you to everyone who's been doing that. But anyway, you know, thing I really appreciate is that they're allowing me to do this kind of work for you guys and, you know, make these videos because I, I couldn't do it without their support. The new people that just jumped on board in the past couple weeks I wanted to thank are, are Catherine Jolly, Matthew Perry, Darren Vanderzee, Chris Renker, or Ronker? Sorry, Chris, I'm not sure about the pronunciation of your last name, but thank you very much. Michael Loberg, uh, Fleur, Sebastian, Robert Totman, and Eric. And if I messed up anyone else's name, sorry about that too. But thank you guys all so very much. Uh, Again, none of this would be possible without you guys, and I really, really appreciate it to be able to do this stuff for you guys. Um, so, enough about that. Let's talk about this episode. And this episode is really about being blindsided by things. The idea of being prepared for stuff, or doing stuff, or doing a lot of work, but, have, but that work not being the right stuff, or, you know, uh, or not enough, really. I think as preppers, a lot of times we have a tendency of, you know, we put, we put so much work in, we put so much effort in, we put so much money in, oftentimes, on all this stuff, and I think a lot of times we have a tendency of, you know, maybe resting on our laurels a little bit, like, oh, you know, I really got this gardening thing down pat, or I've really got lots of guns and bullets, or I've really got, you know, this great structure that, you know, it, uh, you know, is really energy efficient and doesn't need much, you know, it can be off grid and everything like that. I think a lot of us have like these accomplishments and it's dangerous, I think, sometimes to just rest in that too much and think that like, uh, you know, I, I, I put all this effort in, so it must be enough. Um, because there's so many different things that can happen. I mean, this, this series is about aliens and marauders and things like that, but what it's really about is like, you know, just general everyday kinds of things, you know, being prepared for fires, being prepared for floods, for power outages, you know, even without rule of law, following a storm or something like that. Um, I think a lot of people focus on one thing or another. Like, I know there's a lot of people that focus specifically on the idea that aliens might invade by airdropping bird from inflect and by airdropping bird flu infected clown zombies. I'm still having trouble saying that one, but a lot of people are preparing for that. But there's other, there are other things that can blindside people as well. And if you are super prepared for aliens invading by airdropping bird flu infected, infect, in, bird flu infected clown zombies, then you know, there's, there might be something else that happens like you know, earthquake, flood, fire, that blindsides you and you weren't prepared for that one thing. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. The idea that putting an effort isn't always the exact same thing as being completely prepared or getting stuff done uh, because uh, it has to be the right effort in the right place and there's so many different things that you know you have to think about when you're trying to be self-sufficient you know by yourself covering all these things that it can be difficult so I'd appreciate you know what your thoughts are what do you think are things that a lot of people tend to neglect uh, you know I, I guess I could ask you what do you think you tend to neglect but then you wouldn't know because if you knew that you were neglecting it you wouldn't be neglecting it anymore so what are some things that you think that other people are neglecting and then read the comments and see what other people are thinking too it might give you some ideas about things like you know I hadn't really thought about that like maybe that is something I should put a little more effort into or, or more thought into I like to be prepared for like the kinds of things that happen all the time, the general kinds of things. I like to do preps that cover lots of different things. Uh, you know, 
I'd like to do, have a, a house that's self-sufficient. I like to have you know, lots of food in the pantry. Those kinds of things cover all sorts of things, and as well as just everyday stuff, like, oh, I forgot to pick up whatever you know, at the grocery store, but no problem, it's down in the, in the pantry. Um, those kinds of preps you know, cover lots of that kind of stuff. I don't tend to really put that much focus in on security stuff. I mean, I've got weapons, I've got bullets and things like that, but it's, it's definitely one of my, my weaker sides. Now, I, I, that doesn't mean I don't put in a lot of time and effort and, and work in for my preparedness, but I put it in in certain areas. And if, I, if something else happens that I haven't prepared for, you know, all my other preps aren't going to be worth very much if, like, you know, you know, your only is your your structure is only as secure as your your weakest screen door in the back that you forget to lock. I guess is what I'm saying. So, what are, what are some screen doors that people forgot to lock that you see other people like you know missing on? Yeah, you know, especially things that are like the things that aren't really all that exciting. The the you know the boring stuff that people prepare, forget to prepare for because it's just not all that you know. Uh, creatively engaging, perhaps, is a way to put it. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I always learn so much from the comments, and I know so many other people do too, as well. So that's what this episode is about, is like, what are we missing out on? What are we forgetting to do? And, you know, will that be the thing that ends up biting us in the end? So, obviously, paradigm shift in the episode. Uh, you know, my character has been booted out of their homestead kind of survival situation into a kind of a wilderness survival situation. They have some supplies, but it's, it's definitely a paradigm shift. Uh, and before we go to that, I just want to uh, say, you know, for all of you who have sat through this whole video, thank you for sitting through my acting in the, uh, in the uh, day 16 and a half episode. I, I'm not an actor, but I felt like I needed to kind of like act a little bit more disturbed by the fact that there's people trying to like, you know, kill us and everything. I did my best. I'm not an actor, you know. I, I apologize, and I appreciate you guys spending your disbelief to get you through that. But I felt like it would be a little disingenuous if my character kept his normal kind of, like, cool, calm demeanor, which is kind of my normal thing. I don't really get flustered that much, but I think if there were people surrounding my house, it would probably put me on edge, and I would be a little disturbed. So, you know, I tried to demonstrate that in the episode a little bit, but again, I'm not an actor, so sorry. <laughs> Here's a clip of what happens next week. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, uh, well, Monica's grabbing some, some water from the stream right now. Um, my job is there's just so many bugs here. We're going to start a small fire. That'll get the bugs down because um, they're just really awful right now. And, um, yeah, I uh, also on the way out, uh, uh, speaking of fire, we, we saw a bunch of people's firewood. I, it was like a, a camp where people had been collecting it. I didn't see anywhere nearby. We grabbed, I didn't grab any firewood because, I mean, that firewood's, I mean, it's all over the place here. <laughs> um, but uh, I just, I grabbed the tarp and it made me realize I, I... Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.